Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. And I am here with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> and he's playing Crusher, his uh, level 13 Berserker? Yes, that's correct. Okay, I got that right. So, eleven, uh, level 11, I should say, Fury is what I'm playing. And as I stated in the episodes before, he's a little bit higher level than I am. Uh, actually, two levels higher level than I am because... Uh, we're thinking it's because he's evil and I'm a neutral character playing in an evil uh, zone. And for our situation, that's really not a negative thing because he's a tank and he should be a little bit higher than I am so that we can take uh, creatures just a little bit uh, harder than probably what we should be taking on. But it's working into our favor. So we're doing the quest here uh, with this NPC right here in front of us who happens to be a female. Yes, I know, doesn't really look like one, but... Uh, her voice is acted to or portrayed as a female, so uh, we're going to go ahead and click on her and see exactly what she has in store for us. Did you successfully revive the soldiers? Yes, I did. Nice work. We should be able to hold them off with our newly bolstered numbers. While we're doing that, it's up to you to cut the head from the beast. If you follow the path northeast from Thulwind Station, you will come to a small cave. It is from this cave that their leader, Assault Captain Fezrin, is coordinating this attack. He must be taken out. When he falls, their troops will fall to disarray. Ooh, we're going to get to kill a leader. Yep, nice. nice. Good loot. Okay, so our response is all right. Ooh, I get a tempered sword. Sever the head, level 10. All right, all right, all right. Uh, 13 silver, 23 Ooh. copper. Mm. And uh, a tempered mace. You got a tempered, so a tempered sword for yours? Yeah, it's going to be nice upgrade too. My other one only does one, two, three. What was the new one damage. do? The new, new one does eleven sixty, and it has stats. It's got plus seven strength, plus seven agility, and plus seven stamina. Plus wow. six stamina. I'm sorry. Wow, you get more stats than I do. I only get seven wisdom, six stamina, and seven to forty damage. That's because my character's better looking. <laughs> well, <I'm not. laughs> and and <laughs> because it's a weapon. <laughs> And, you know, as a as a Fury, you're pretty much never going to use your weapon in combat. Once he's dead, you are speak a with secondary I mean, Shiden your thoughts, and Thulwind your spells, Station your and let spells, him I mean, know what you've done. If it's done. anything like my Good food luck. was on EverQuest Live or is on EverQuest Live, then it's, you're just a machine of death. I mean, you probably are eventually going to do more damage than my fighter with uh, your spells and stuff like that, I'm sure. Stupid, uh... <clears throat> I'm stuck on this stupid bug again where you just spin around in circles the whole time. Oh, you're moving uh, on my screen. Yeah, in a circle. How do I get this to stop? Nah, there yeah, it goes, I, yeah. Okay, yeah, there you go. I just hit the uh, the num key guys a couple times, and that, that seemed to fix it. That is a bug that happens quite a bit, to be honest. I, I don't know why, but... It's uh, never happened to me. Never? No, I've never had that happen. Okay, well, it's happened to me several times. <laughs> <laughs> number, number key. I don't know how. Uh, I need to kill the assault cat. Okay, so he's over here in this direction. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a whiff, uh, wisp for the uh, the map. Anytime you. Move the sky call button. It's uh, it's in the way. I can't see the map. There we go. And I think we're gonna get a few ads there. But again, you can run away from enemies in this game. At EverQuest One, you couldn't do that it, unless you zoned. The enemy yeah. never forgot who you were. They would literally track you down. Uh, I've actually had it for like two hours. You think uh, you know the creature got killed or something happened to him, and literally two hours later, uh, they come running and pretty much wipe the floor with you. Uh, yeah. So if you bit. do play EverQuest on live, remember that fact because you literally have to zone out to be safe from from mobs that may be chasing you, trying to kill you. I've I've certainly had to zone out before. Can't I attack my spells? Okay, my Oops. thing is messed up a little. What's wrong with it? Every time I hit my my spells, it just types it in the chat channel. Ever since that uh, that messed up, I don't know what the problem is. But I mean, you should be able to kill this thing by yourself, right? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> maybe. Oh, he's got friends. Stop trying to type it out. They die so quick, you know. Oh, who's this guy over here? Look at this. What is this? It's a griffin. Is it? A, oh, it's a cat. It's a 
Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna be for another part of the quest, actually. Let Good. my griffin go. What did I do wrong here, guys? Shift calf locks, maybe. You zigged when you should have zagged. There we go. Gotta hit calf locks or shift. One of those buttons did it. Don't know which one. Not hitting them again. I don't want that to happen. You're free, guy. You're free. You're free. Good. It's not bringing anything to me. <clears throat> so let's see. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to clear the enemies around him before we get to him. And hopefully he doesn't come running with it. We see that pole? Yeah, that was pretty nice. <laughs> and you did it with a bow and arrow. That's that's yeah. pretty hard to do. Because uh, you gotta you gotta watch for your line of sight when you use your bow and arrow. Okay, you got him with the spell before I could shoot him. <laughs> yeah, All I think right. this this little area is a little easy for us. Yeah, I don't think their aggro range is very large. Actually, it, to be honest, I think that we could probably kill all of them at once, so that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. Oh, wow, they're not even going to help him? Yeah, it's a newbie zone, so I think they're, they're taking it easy. Let's see what he dropped for us. Oh, oh hey. Those hey, are for you, man. Yeah, there's something you might be able to use right there. Fighter's Falcon. I'll go ahead and hit neat on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit green too. Ooh, ooh, a, a gem. Oh, that guy hit me, and I don't really care. I'm still getting shiny. Oh, you interrupted me. You're dying. You're dead. <laughs> Did you win those uh, fighter bombs? Did I? I hit decline on it. I don't know that. That would be impressive. I hit decline and I still win. Yeah. Oh, okay, there they are. I didn't see. I don't. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. They're a different upgrade, though. Yeah, I I, I want those kind of dice, though. Yeah. A tune. Oh yeah. Okay, so you always wow. Wanna, you always wow. want to check your quest, though. What, what what is it? Pretty good. They are plus nine strength and plus nine stamina, and what I was wearing only had plus five strength. What a uh, huge upgrade. Yeah, but the look is kind of weird. Yeah, I figured. I just... What did I loot? I looted something on the ground right here, and it gave me the quest, The Great Griffin Escape, level 10. Oh. Are you going to let the Griffins escape? Oh, this is... That's, we got to free the Griffins now. Did you get that quest, too? Uh, no. You can share it with me? Uh, let me let me decline it. I th should I decline it or no, should I accept it? No, no, no. Let's take it. Let's take it. I want to do it. I like Griffins. Okay, let me see if I can share that with you. Oh, it's a no share one. Ah. So we'll hold off on doing that one until he gets it as well. I think it's something over here you can click on. So we'll have to come back over here in a few minutes and see if we can get it for for a Crusher here. And if we can, uh, that will be the next quest we do. So we're going to go back and turn in this one at least. Okay, why can't I move my bag? It's, why can't I move it? Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, that was making me mad. Okay. Aviac beak. Hmm. And those are for the uh, Lauren Legend quest. So if you study those items, it will start the quest. And then you have to find like four invisible items that you get only off... Or I think it's maybe three, actually. That you get only off of killing uh, these type of creatures. And the other ones you can actually buy from the broker or find them off of the creature themselves. Uh, study every single one of them. And once you do that, you will get a spell, the Lauren Legend spell. That will have a an asterisk next to the name of the type of creatures these are. So if you did it for elementals or if you did it for skeletons or gnolls or orcs uh, it will have the the orc name there and that spell will then be able to do extra damage versus that kind of creature uh, plus it's good experience so what you want to do is uh, do all the lore and legends for every uh, different type of creature that's out there it's definitely uh, something you should have and it, it does come into play uh, in certain certain zones more than others but yeah, it's definitely good experience so and how do you study those items? Uh, you just right click on it and say examine. Okay. All right. Or you can actually just click it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, you can actually just click it inside the the text window. I think I just got that quest that you were talking about. The guy I did the Great Griffin Escape, correct? That is it. Yeah. So let's go turn. It. Let's go turn in real quick. Okay. This guy attacked me again while I was collecting the quest item. 
Andy, let's. Okay, so we're back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to cough, and I didn't want to uh, get that on camera right in your ear. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that does happen occasionally, so fortunately that is part of the job. I think. Let's see. So we finished up there. What we're going to go ahead and do is actually go back and turn this quest in. And once we turn this in, we'll come back here and start that quest up that we both got here. Now, did you, did you loot something on the ground to get that? Did you loot a shiny? I did, I did. Uh, the same thing, I believe, that you looted to get it? Yeah, so it does look like a shiny on the ground, right where the name guy used to be. So if you come over here and it's not there when you first get there, uh, I think, what do we wait, like two minutes, maybe even less than two minutes? And it's yeah, it for you? Yeah, it wasn't very long. Yeah, it wasn't very long. So you may just have to wait a few minutes and it should pop up. And that's a good place to get that quest because, like I said before, if you don't go off and explore, just because these NPCs offer you quests, there's other ones in the zone that you can only get by killing creatures or going off and exploring a certain area. So, yeah, definitely, uh, oh, we need to go to talk to somebody else, actually. Do we? Yeah, this way. Oh, so they're sending us a little further into the zone uh, to turn in because they're kind of pushing you a little further in... Uh, in areas where they want you to go, they try to lead you as much as possible in this in this beginning zone area, uh, because it is kind of a newbie area, and they know people get lost and they don't know when to go on to the next area. So yeah, it's it's definitely kind of nice in that regard, but at the same time, you do need to take uh, time for yourself and just go off and explore. Talk to these NPCs. Look at what they're selling. Uh, just sit there and watch them for a few minutes. Sometimes, literally, just standing here watching NPCs they will start to say something, and that will open up a quest for you because you watch them. Now, I'm not saying these guys do that, but there are NPCs in the game that will, so just be aware of that fact. So we need to turn into, yeah, secondary. You're right with the names. So let's go ahead and talk to him and see what he has to say. If you are able to fight, then you should do so. Uh, I come from... Tertiary Daha, and I have slain Assault Captain Fazanin. However, you want to pronounce that. That's that is great news. We were all expecting war to come eventually, but the Wawaren still took us by surprise. They launched a simultaneous attack. Okay, so I moved back so we didn't listen to that. That's going to be like his next line of quest, and we will come over here and talk to him eventually, but right now. We're going to go finish that quest that we had uh, on the next episode. So, I ended up getting 25 silver and 59 copper. What did you get? You know, I didn't pay attention. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's all right. <laughs> Can I... Does it... No? No, okay. I, yeah, I didn't pay attention. No, okay, here it is. I got 18 silver and 41 copper. 18 silver and 49 copper? Yeah, so again, I got less than you. And you turned in before I did, right? I turned in after you did. Okay, so then maybe the person who turns in after gets less. Let me turn in after you did next okay, time yeah, and, we'll and see what again. we get. Although I think the next quest is going to be instant because it's one of those those types. But let me switch out my new weapon real quick. And, uh, yeah, guys, so if you have uh, any comments that you want to leave below, you're more than welcome to do that. We definitely check those out as, as often as possible. And I always reply back uh, to anybody who's taken the time to write so you're more than welcome to leave tips and tricks or just uh, say hello and that you enjoyed the video. I mean, we always loved uh, hearing back that we're doing a good job. We appreciate that. So if you do and like he really these... will. He really will answer your your uh, messages, guys. So please leave a, leave a comment. Uh, actually, Kevin here is... Uh, I actually met him on the, the comment board. So Exactly. Yeah. You, you know, you guys are always welcome to uh, join us, come into the game with us, and do some videos together. I'm, I'm always willing to uh, to hang out with you guys. So, yeah, definitely leave comments down below. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these videos because that helps my channel grow, and I do greatly appreciate that. It allows me to review more games in the future, uh, which will, in turn, give you more content to watch if you enjoy these kind of things. So, yeah, definitely hit those buttons if you can. If not, that's all right. I'm not going to force you, and I try not to ram it down your throat as much as possible because it is, I know, kind of annoying to hear it all the time. But it's there nonetheless, and I hope you guys do enjoy these videos. Uh, I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next episode. Subscribe. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs>